Fairground, Hills Grove. Our driver was ejected from the car. Okay, how many cars are involved? Two. How many cars in the car, do you know? A car and a truck. We're trapped in the truck. The doors won't open. Okay, what's your phone number? This could happen to you if you get behind the wheel of a car after driving under the influence of alcohol or drugs or get in the car with someone who has. That was the message first responders had for 750 students from four area high schools during their mock crash held at the Highland County Fairgrounds Thursday morning. Of course, we all have a common mission, and that's to, you know, in the community in general, is to keep our kids safe. And anything we can do to educate them on the dangers of, of uh, drugs and alcohol, using drugs and alcohol, and, and getting behind the wheel, and of course, we're coming up on prom season. And we're doing this in accordance with our prom promise uh, annual educational drive. And, uh, we, you know, we want to hopefully drive the message home to these kids that, you know, this is, this is the aftermath of what can happen if you drink and drive, if you use drugs and drive. The crash scene was the result of a staged head-on collision of high school students, one of whom was driving while under the influence. Fire and rescue and law enforcement personnel responded to the mock scene just as they would have if the situation was real. Going around to the different cars and they will assess each victim as what we call triage. During triage, they assess which one will be able to have the most chance of a survival rate. So you will see some passengers being passed by. Yes, this this scene was um, this was we train we try to train just like we work on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, we try to take everything through. Um, this was probably a little slower, just so the kids could understand what was was transpiring. But everything is an all in all. We've done everything to the cars that we would have done um, on a normal crash scene. We have treated our victims the same. Um, the amount of time for the helicopter to get on the ground, which would have normally been about the same. The jaws of life were used to extract some of the passengers. One individual was even transported by helicopter from the scene. And the funeral home was called in to remove the body of a girl who was dead, having been thrown from one of the vehicles. In addition to witnessing the crash scene, students were led to another area on the fairgrounds for another reenactment, letting a family know their child was dead. Allison's been killed in a car accident. Excuse me. No! There's you. What do you mean? There was, How do you know it's her? There is no easy way of doing this. And this is, without a doubt, the toughest part of our job. Students were then led through a room where they walked past a casket and looked inside, only to see a mirror reflecting their own image. So, you know, if we, if we just touch a part of them, that's, that's, that's a great thing. So we hope, you know, we hope the, the array of different stations and the, the kids can come spend some time and, and hopefully they walk away with something from here and, and hopefully drive the message home. Okay, we'll get the squad right there, okay? Okay.